meant, meant to, to be. Sure, Any, anyway, so so we had rented we had rented a, a helicopter, and Shep Gordon, very famous manager, still is Alice's manager. Fabulous movie that was out about a year ago called Supermensch, if you ever want to see it. Uh, and uh, uh, Shep got you know like twenty thousand paper panties made, right? <laughs> The only way you could get the paper paintings was to buy the album, but no. So we hired the helicopter, completely illegal. You know, I can't remember what we paid the pilot off, but we paid the pilot, you know, some significant amount of money. And just when, when uh, I guess it was School's Out, uh, was playing, the helicopter flew over Roosevelt Stadium, and they were dropping the paper panties <laughs> on, on, on the audience. Well, the audience went absolutely wild. And remember, this was the time of a lot of free love, so there were a, there were a lot of women who were pulling up their to, pulling up their tops or pulling their pants off to put the panties on and stuff. And the and the, the pilot got so engrossed in seeing what was going on with it that he came within, I'd say, a foot of one of the light stanchions. All right, I mean, thousands of people would have died. Thousands of people would have died uh, if he hit it. And you know, he he he, he got himself back and. Uh, uh, and it didn't happen. So, you know, there were some pretty wild things that happened at Roosevelt State. Yeah. Maybe one more question? Oh, all right, two more. One thing and then you. Okay. Yep. Back there? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh! Scott! Just drop that anywhere. night that uh, Elvis Presley passed away, and we were doing Edgar Winter, Edgar Winter Group, Rick Derringer with Ron Tut as the drummer, and uh, old, old drummer. John came out, it was a hot night, I remember so hot there, and John came out and announced that Elvis had died, and like everybody's heart just dropped that night, but it was almost like John F. Kennedy learning that he had passed, it was a powerful moment. But I was there. Yeah. Ron Tut, who was drumming then, was Elvis's drummer for most of his career, and actually played with the Garcia band uh, uh, for, for, for a long time. And, and it was an emotional evening. And, you know, getting back uh, to NEW and the relationship with NEW, when, 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 John, when John Lennon uh, uh, got killed, um, it was, you know, it was a devastating moment for our generation. Devastating. Um, and, uh, yeah, well, yeah, okay, I'll, 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 I'll buy that. Um, but the next day, uh, well, actually, when it happened, mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, you know, Scott called me, and I guess a couple of the other jocks called me. I don't know if it was one of you two guys or not. And uh, they did a tribute, and I called David Sanchez. And uh, um, he came empty capital, uh, piano front and center, broadcast by NEW. Uh, and he played Imagine, Beautiful. you know, and people, you know, all over, all over Metropolitan Jersey and New York, you know, he heard it. And it was the right place to do it. It was interesting that Scott would say, you know, come up to the studio and do this. No, he did it on an empty stage at, at, at the Capitol and broadcast it. So, uh, you have a recording of that now? I don't have anything. <laughs> I'm an idiot. There, there is a recording that exists. Yeah, there definitely is. Yeah. Well, the whole, well, the whole, all of NEW's archives exist someplace. Yeah, they're safe uh, somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you know where the originals are or the copies you made are? <laughs> no, I know where the originals are. I thought Norm Weiner got control of them at one point. Yeah, he did. Yeah. And there's a, there was an NEW uh, internet station. Oh, right, right, yeah. right, 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 right. Okay, last question. Um, a couple officers from security were talking to you and I trying to figure out what was the last concert at the Capitol Theater and they said, well, let's just ask John. So. I know this. <laughs> question question from you, sure. what was the last uh, concert at the Capitol? I think it was Little Feet. I think was, it was, was Snoop, so. I think, I, think it was, I think it was Little Feet in, 80, in 88, who I now manage, actually. Um, yeah. Okay. It was Little Feet. answered that question. <laughs> 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 I don't <laughs> Anybody else? Wasn't it Duran Duran? So I remember shooting the marquee that night. I was one direction. Listing it on my side. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not entirely sure. Diana's got a list. Diana's got these here. It's been by my side for 
about 85 to 90 years. Uh, we've got a list someplace. Uh, it's not no. <laughs> yeah. Could ring a bell at all? I don't. Oh, okay. The list of capital shows is not online? Not all of them. I don't think it's complete. I think it adds like a year or more to the site. Moise has got the list. But you missed the last couple of years, didn't you, Moise? Yeah, that's right. I was there in 88. Well, no, 88 was the, was the last year. The theater went on after that, but the, on Moise.com, there is a list of all the capital years of theater shows. Uh, it's probably the best reference. Well, you can fix the errors, can't you? Oh, <laughs> nah. <laughs> Moise's website is great, too, as Bob's is, you know. Uh, uh, you know, Yvette, do, we, do you have a, a website? What? I do have a website. Well, oh, I'm sure it's wonderful, too. Um, you know, that's, that, that stuff lives on, and, you know, there's the Capital Crew uh, website. That's, uh, that's always fun to check in on, see who's getting in trouble. Yeah. Uh, and who's not. And I do have to say, you know, we talked a lot about the, uh, about, about security. I mean, uh, I had a, a, a couple of decade old, um, uh, very happy thing happen tonight. First of all, this all is very happy and great, but um, uh, Chris Cook and Kenny Viola, who, you know, like I said, these guys for many, many, many years would take a bullet for me. They, uh, they I don't know, they, they, they had a falling out, I don't know, because one of them, you know, liked to eat their corn on the cob, and the other one <laughs> wanted, wanted to, you know, cut it off with a knife. But, uh, Typical rock uh, and roll you know, uh, I, I've got a picture with the, both of them, and they're both you know, this much bigger than me, so uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll cherish that. Um, as I do, I, you know, I try to go every year to the uh, Capital Union that the crew does, and it's, you know, they're great old stories, and, 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 uh, um, the fact that so many of the crew stayed friends um, for all these years. I mean, a lot of the crew kept working for us, you know, through, you know, the, 80, you know, the late 80s and 90s, um, you know, but, you know, as the industry got more and more consolidated and became big corporations that did it, it was, you know, it was hard to maintain. I mean, we must have had a staff, you know, from the, you know, from the 70s and the 80s of, you know, 100 people, you know, uh, and, you know, and did, you know, a lot of shows. Um, but uh, the fact that lots of them have stayed friends and, and uh, uh, Kenny and Chris are going to spoon now later tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, yeah. Is Hood here? Yeah. Hood, where are you? Uh, another guy that would have taken a bullet for me, and 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 and, and the best, uh, the the best detective of being able to detect counterfeit tickets. Because remember, for for, for 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 most of those years, you know, they were real. They were hard tickets. They weren't Ticketmaster or Ticketron. And 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 who's the best in the world? For that? Uh, and there's another one who probably would t would have taken a bullet for me. So. Uh, Look, don't you have anything to say? Is there any remnants? All I can say is, we all love working for you. I think we all wish we were still friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Glad you want to. Uh, I have a couple things to say. I want to thank John and uh, Diane. Um, I approached John, John Cowell, too. I approached him two years ago, and then approached John after one of the reunions, and John was uh, welcomed the idea. It took us a couple years to get it together, but I thank him. I thank Diana for helping us at the office and everybody. Um, I know I was told not to, but again, I want to thank Barbara Berman for a great job. Um, and <laughs> John said it before, we like a family, um, and we all we're going to reunions and try to stay together and support each other. Um, my only story is that I was, I don't know what year, if it's the same 
Alice Cooper show, but I had started, uh, thanks to Greg Butterfield and Jim Butterfield and John, and back in, and was still working with Mo, and they got me involved, and they asked me to work at Roselle Stadium, and I think it might have been the next year, I was a young 18-year-old kid working stage, and there was a firecracker that came up on the stage, and I, thinking it was going to do damage, put my head in, and it went off, and luckily I had protected my eyes. It was uh, Dennis Johnson and a guy named Steve, I forget his last name, got me, and they got me into a trailer, and the uh, EMS guy come running in, and, and the first guy to open the door was John to make sure I was all right. So he always made sure the crew was well, and everybody was there, and he sat for a few minutes and made sure that everything was good. So I thank him, and thank everybody for coming, and if I missed thanking somebody who helped us out, the photographers and everybody, I'm sorry, but thanks for a great night.